Hi there, welcome back again. Thank you for coming back to uh, see what's going on here. This is the ZF5HP24 gearbox or transmission that we call it. That's the torque converter there. It starts to get a bit technical now because we're going to be taking it apart. Uh, this is the deassembly sequence and uh, there's quite a lot to do. We're starting with the torque converter first. We'll be taking that out and then moving on uh, to removing the bell housing and oil pump but it will all come quite clear in a minute um, but it is going to be quite difficult to do but we've got the book of instructions to show us how to do it there's a view of the the length of the gearbox which is quite long this is the workbench that we're going to be using to actually deassemble the uh, parts on and um, in a minute here you'll see that I've turned the transmission upside down um, so we can really get to grips with the first thing off is obviously the drive uh, the valve gear and we're taking the pan off right now or should I say my assistant is um, here we have the inside of the pan uh, if I just zoom in there you'll see that there are four magnets in the bottom of the oil pan and they collect all the steel swarf that's worn off the gears and any loose bits of uh, metallic magnetic sort of material in there Get a good view of the filter and the valve gear the black thing is obviously the filter um, just coming around to the front there you can just see everything's quite in order here we're looking at the valve gear without the filter filter's now been removed you can see it down here just next to it to the right there you can see the torque converter that's now out uh, as well moving back here again you can see all the different systems that they use there is a manual uh, system in there for getting you home also electronic now we're looking at the complete uh, body nearly stripped down all that's left in there are uh, clutches uh, D, E and F. That's D that you can see there through the through the hole there. Uh, e is behind there and F is at the right at the back. So it's very difficult to see. That's the, um, the output shaft uh, and uh, mounting. Here is A and B. That's, out, that's input shaft A. And clutch housing and B they're joined together with uh, some snap rings I'll be showing how that comes apart this is the oil pump and the bell housing which is obviously and we're not going to actually be doing much with that apart from changing a few o-rings and so on I've got the valve gear out there on the table uh, we're just going back to the sump pan you can actually see this little tiny bits of swarf on the magnets there it's, it's not easy to see but uh, there's some foreign bodies there that have worn off from different places um, if we just go back to the clutch and b that is where one of the problems is i'll show you later what's happened inside that hub but there is definitely a problem there anyway we'll save that to next time